Did you know, for example, the average mum has one hour a day to themselves? That's the thing with mums, selfish. 25% <laughs> of lap dancers have university degrees. Yes, most of them... <laughs> Carol there, just getting the last joke. <laughs> or remembering something that happened earlier in her life, who knows? 25% of lap dancers have university degrees. Yes, most of them have a tutu and a French maid's outfit and a police uniform. <laughs> have you ever illegally downloaded anything? I don't think so, no, but I do download apps, but I pay for those all the time. I oh, love the apps. Legal, you loving the apps, I'm yeah. I'm loving the apps on the iPhone. My favourite is iFart at the moment. I know it's childish, but it's caused me iFart? Love. Love. What does that 49p. do? 49p. It's great. It's great. It's 49p? Got the... You could have brought sprouts. <laughs> Oh. It's got all the different sounds, and they've given it like squelcher, squeezer, rabbit oh. thingy, da da da, and they're all different fast sounds. Do? You're the real Carol Vorderman. Did we <laughs> book the wrong? Because I wanted really, to book the clever really one off the show with the numbers. So, so Who did we book? Who's she? Business team, what do you think they've been talking about this week? Exciting VAT news. Yeah. Oh. Two and a half percent has come off VAT. <laughs> right. What are we even still doing here? Let's get to the shops. Come on. <laughs> I mean, we are going to rush out, obviously, because something that cost £100 uh, last week, next week it's going to cost, wait for it, £97.87. <laughs> I'm very excited about the 2.5%. Are you? That's yes, marvellous. Because I can finally get that kettle I've had my eye on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's very tempting me, but I've always gone. <laughs> <laughs> It's got the light on that when you switch it on it goes red when it boils and then it goes to blue. Yes. <laughs> so, your team to go first. What do you think people use the internet for? Uh, you're, well, Carol, you're on the internet. I'm on the internet all the time. I tell you what I do. I shop on the internet. I buy absolutely everything on the internet. Right, you're not worried about fraud and all that sort of stuff? No. You're not worried about people nicking your no. identity and that? No. I bet your password is proper confusing though, isn't it? <laughs> You've got an amazing password that you've actually got to solve three sums to get the password. <laughs> Carol, do you like a fancy dress party? I love a fancy dress party. What's, what's the best outfit you've ever, you've ever rocked? <laughs> well, when I had my last big fancy dress party, oh, it was fantastic. You host? Yeah. Oh, you host them, I love yeah, them. Yeah, 70s. It was fantastic. Amazing. I had an Afro wig that was that big and a little toga th thing and some very oh, high silver fun. boots and it was oh we had the blast it was fabulous i really enjoyed that party it was brilliant uh, no, I, I wasn't invited no, but... I know. <laughs> uh, john fern carol what have the nation been talking about this week lots of different things haven't they? Yeah, well, my well decision done, uh... <laughs> i mean that's we could probably just end round one there can we <laughs> Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Yes. Well, you're a, you're a mum. I am a mum you... and i actually have a mother as well. Yeah, which is remarkable. It's um, fascinating stuff. We're all... <laughs> we chat about all sorts of things, my mother and I. Do you want yeah. the weirdest conversation you've had with your mum? Uh, well, it was actually last week, cos I, I got my uh, daughter, picked her up from uni, and we went into Nana's and... Is Nana's like Nando's? <laughs> no, Nana's my mum. Oh, OK. Nana's course, my mum. Yeah. And she's got her iPad out, and my daughter goes, ''What's that, Nan?'' She said, ''You're on Facebook. Nana, that's my account.'' And my mum is stalking my, my daughter's Facebook account. She says, oh, no, I've got hundreds of friends on it. She said, no, they're my friends, Nana. They're not your friends, your they're Nana friends. is stalking your daughter as well. <laughs> <laughs> we should get together said, and talk. She said, oh, I go to bed half an hour early and I read up about all these different people. What's this thing here? I think she might mean uh, Tinder. <laughs> No. Facing. no, 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 yes, yes. <laughs> Carol, were you pleased that they stayed? Well, I just thought it's up to them, really. And, you know, things change, don't they? Things develop. Are you breaking up with me? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of time to move on, Jimmy. <laughs> don't worry, I've still got the photos. Um... <laughs> It's an odd percentage of people that wanted to go, isn't it? Because it was, yeah. as much as it was, you know, was yeah. it 54%, it's almost half. They kept saying... We won safely, like, it doesn't yeah. feel very safe. Like, if you had yeah. five kids and you went down for breakfast one morning, they went, we had a vote in the morning, two of us want to kill you in our sleep. <laughs> <laughs> the other three are all right with it. So, <laughs> but we're not going to tell you which wants which. We shouldn't give away the result of the referendum, because some people might have taped it. Carol, would you ever go into the jungle? What would it, what would it take? No, I wouldn't go into the jungle. Do you get offered it every year? Yeah. Every Should year I tell you how call? much they offered me yeah, this yeah, year? Yeah, yeah, go on. Oh. 
£250,000. £250,000? And you went, no, I'm not doing it, not no. worth it. Can I go dressed I'll go as tomorrow. you? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was £250,000. I'm not very good with numbers. Twenty-five. <laughs> I used to be on the Wide Awake Club, and obviously Timmy was one of them, uh, one of the presenters. And um, I this used is to my favourite ever. Saturday Before you even morning. start, this is my favourite ever name drop story. <laughs> <laughs> one of my best friends. <laughs> yeah, Timmy Mallet. Yeah, we hang out. Whatever. <laughs> There's a gentleman in Bristol who has been his agent for 27 years, and, and he's been mine for 27 years. Job. Can you imagine that? When the phone goes, what's that noise? <laughs> John Steam, what do you think the nation have been talking about this week? Sex box? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, you seem genuinely excited. Sex box, tell me all about it. They have sex in a box. The cameras aren't in the box, so you can't see. And c consenting couples go in there and they have sex and then they come out and then there's a panel of experts and then they just sit there and they get asked about what happened in there and they say, yeah, we did it. Hang on, hang on. I want to know more about this, because I haven't actually seen this before. It's like a porno version of the cube. <laughs> right. They should, should do it in the cube, though. At least you'll be able to see what they're getting up to. Yeah. The only time I've ever spent an evening with a footballer was a long, long, long uh, time ago. Tell me everything. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just happened to be standing next to a footballer, and there were a lot of girls who were handing their number to him and all sorts of things to him. And were you adding up all the numbers and dividing them? <laughs> <laughs> OK, your related question. 63% of women avoid exercise because they think it makes them look stupid. Yeah. True or false? Jimmy, can I just point out that when they cut your shot up, the only words in that are look stupid <laughs> above your head. <laughs> your DVD Christmas as well and you quite rightly you know they offer you things that yeah. you think would be associated and there's an inflatable bondage chair that came up online <laughs> but uh, well, sadly... there must have been some other things that you bought no. as well <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what you would love we're also offering mind camp <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, you might like Mein Kampf. It's a book by a young writer called Adolf Hitler. Nine, nine, nine. It is the recommendations is an odd thing because it's sort of I don't mind buying stuff on Amazon, but when it, when it, the recommendations come out, I do sometimes think, is that me? I've got to change. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like Chris Martin. I quite like Gwyneth. What do you make of Gwyneth? Me? Yeah. What do you make oh, of Gwyneth? Oh, I don't know. I've, like most people, I think it's just a bit smug and sort of. Pain in the ass, really. I would say. Are you moving in there, Carol? What do you mean? You're moving in on Chris? Mm, no. He's a, on. Bit, he's a bit too old for me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Is it the, um, the spate of people tipping ice buckets? Oh, over their ice heads? bucket challenge. The ALS yes. ice bucket challenge. Did you do it? I, well, I did, yeah, I did do it, but instead of ice water, I had sort of warm water, and instead of tipping it, I sort of climbed into it. <laughs> I had a lovely bath. Yeah. <laughs> Carol, you did it, didn't you? I've did done it, know? yeah, I did it. Carol Vorderman did do it, yeah, in, in some style, I would say. Should we take a look at Carol's? Yes. Nominated you. Red Arrows nominated me. The Red Arrows nominated. What? All oh. of them? All of them, because they did it. That's, the night this is going to be a story here. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a second. Yeah. Well, they were all sitting in formation apparently the night before and had. <laughs> <laughs> so they were sitting in formation. Ice yeah. tipped over them. <laughs> And then they had to nominate... You had to nominate three yeah, yeah, people sure. or something, OK? So they said they nominated the Chief of Air Staff, Prince Harry, and me. Oh. And I thought, oh, God. And that, kind of, that video went everywhere, and I thought, well, I can't not do it now, can mm. I, really? No, and it's a real compliment. Out of anyone they could have chosen, they chose you. They chose what me, What did yeah. you do to piss off the Red Arrows? <laughs> <laughs> All right, not that. Um, <laughs> is it trapdoor comparison websites? What's that? You know... Trapdoorsupermarket.com. But you could just look at different trapdoors and decide which is the best one to buy. <laughs> is it, uh, well, it's porn, isn't it? I didn't want to say it. But... Prawns. No, oh, pr prawns. Not prawns, no. Um. <laughs> I was going to say, that's a bit specialist, Carol. <laughs> it's got, I think it's porn in it. I mean, the only 
the only one I've seen recently is. Um... <laughs> Sorry, you don't know, but... No, I was just like... <laughs> no, cos when I knew we were doing the digital special, I thought, well, it's research, innit? So, um... <laughs> Jason, come on, we're doing the show, man. <laughs> say. There's nothing, there's nothing more difficult than trying to close a screen when your wife comes into the room. That, that little cross at the top gets smaller and smaller. Cos so... <laughs> you can't even look at it directly, cos you think, I've got to keep eye contact with her so she doesn't look at the screen. You just go, hey, you love, you're all right, I think it. Is it about there? <laughs> Be all right. I think it'd be fine. Uh, I think it's probably. I think it's probably men who use it. Do you think it's men that use it? I one? don't think many women actually go looking. For... Yeah, I think there's a lot of stuff aimed specifically at. Because the thing about the internet pornography, as opposed to pornography as it used to be in wooded areas, mm. <laughs> <laughs> is where pornography used to live. Sure Someone would buy it in the news agent and then very kindly leave it in a wooded area for no, <laughs> and you would see a shimmer of porn yeah, on the horizon. <laughs> Release it back into the wild. <laughs> I think I'm the only one old enough to remember all the blackouts of power cuts in the 70s. Also, when they introduced electricity, that must have been a thrill. <laughs> 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 so what was it like? So in the 70s, of course, so we had... So in the, the 70s, you, you had... Well, we had uh, paraffin lamps and you had boxes of candles. No, I remember that. The thing is, these days would be much better because candles are more varied. Much better sense. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, OK, well, here's, a, here's a fun fact. In, in 2008, a two-day power cut in Holland led to a 44% increase in the birth rate. Now, that's because you like to keep warm, you see. You go to bed and keep warm. That's because mm. she can't get away. It's dark, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> You were an education czar at some stage, weren't you? You were a math czar, weren't you? Uh, I did a maths report, yes, about two years ago. I was also involved in the introduction of the numeracy hour when Blair was Prime Minister and Blunkett was uh, education The secretary. numeracy hour? Yeah. What, countdown? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's got to be that thing that, that, that was about, about a year ago and then it stopped being something, which was the toggle. Everything was a toggle. You uh, suppose yeah. your USB thing, you had a toggle. A to... uh, dongle. Oh, dongle. Dongle, that was it. The, the dongle. dongle. See, yeah. you're so confused. You know, I didn't know why. <laughs> yeah, because they're hard. They don't dangle. The dongles don't dangle. They're actually hard, aren't they? Well, you put who's... them in. A who's dongle that? doesn't dangle because it's hard. <laughs> Have a look at this. About. It's got more life about it than, you know, men normally do to women. It's yeah, like... but, Carol, you should see the state of the shed they built. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get proposed to? Which time? <laughs> well, it was different in those days, wasn't it? It was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were riding on the back of a hay cart. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say triceratops. <laughs> <laughs> Carol, do you get stressed driving? Do I, I get stressed? Ride? No, I love I love driving. I love Top Gear. You know I love Top Gear. Should we look at Carol on Top Gear? We'll have a little look. Now the Liana. <laughs> oh yes. <gasps> I just had a great day. I love the Stig. He was so good, and he taught me how to do handbrake turns today. Well, that's not going to make you go very fast. No, it isn't. No, it Pulling a handbrake on. No. Have you never done one before? No. So did that explain what happened when you were on one of your practice laps? <laughs> the would last you, one, you... I was just pushing it a little too far. Who'd like to see what happened on one of the practice laps? Yeah. Here we go. Right, where are we now? Oh, it's the follow-through. Oh, what bit? What? Ah! Oh, what is this? Ah! <laughs> 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 oh. Slap. That was quite oh, close. Oh, this is great. This one's great. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, I was fastest in the wet by four seconds. At Fast that time. In, fastest in the in wet the by wet. four seconds. <laughs> <laughs> A 
forgot to issue Carol with the list of words you cannot say to Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid wet is wrong. You just can't say it if it's well, raining. Jeremy you have argued to say it's raining. and he said it was only mildly moist. <laughs> <laughs> now you're pretty much reading out the list. I fell over last year. I fell down the stairs and I broke oh. my nose. Now that does not make life more exciting. Although, ka ching, Stan a stairlift advert. <laughs> <laughs> How did you fall down the stairs? Uh, I had high heels on. <laughs> And a rucksack. I always go around with high, high heels, heels and a rucksack. <laughs> oh, tell me more. <laughs> and you dress as a beef eater. <laughs> <laughs> no, I always have a rucksack. I don't like handbags, so I can put both hands in my pockets. So when I trip, so you can break your nose. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will say, if I maybe I'm too commonsensical, but if I am going down the stairs in high heels, I don't put my hands in my pockets. <laughs> <laughs> I think you look really nice, Jimmy. I think you wear like really nice tailored suits. You've done it, got your eight. Like you look a lot different when you first started on telly, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying you look like you've you got all the. I've scrubbed up well. You've always yeah. dressed smartly. I remember you what, what was that, fifteen something years ago. Yeah, when you were Eamon Holmes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> most unattractive habit. I think Jimmy, one of the most unattractive habits is when. You're talking to a man and then he's just looking at you and not actually listening to what you say. So then when you ask him a question... <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> then when you ask him a question, oh. he says, pardon? What? what? <laughs> the German people will be very pleased to find out about this. <laughs> I think pleasure. it's when you're sitting on the toilet and you know you've got the toilet roll and it's got one bit is slightly lower than the other bit, mm. you know, because it's two ply. Someone's doing well. <laughs> <laughs> two ply. <laughs> <laughs> what you're meant to do is take the top bit over like that. Do you do this at home? And then you get it and then they all measure up and you rip that bit off. No, but then you get out of sync. No, because... no. Why are you shitting in the sink? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed those clips. Uh, if you want to watch full episodes of 8 Out of 10 Cats, then you can on my YouTube channel. Um, just, you know, search for it on YouTube and you'll find it because it's there.